Throughout aviation history, stretched variants have always brought groundbreaking advancements. So what would happen if there were a stretch variant that could combine the massive capacity of the A380 with the superior performance of the 777X? The answer might lie in the Boeing 777-10, a mysterious variant that has sparked curiosity among experts and aviation enthusiasts. But will this aircraft continue that tradition? More importantly, will it ever become a reality? Let's find out in today's episode. For decades, the Boeing 747 and Airbus A380 have been icons of the aviation industry, serving as key aircraft in the fleets of many major airlines worldwide. However, as market demands shift and new technologies emerge, these giant aircraft have gradually become outdated and are slowly disappearing from the skies. As this happened, analysts began looking at a potential solution. The Boeing 777-10. This aircraft is envisioned as an even larger variant of the current 777X series, with the potential to be the perfect replacement for both the 747 and A380. But when did rumors about the 777-10 first emerge? The idea of the Dash 10 variant surfaced in the 2010s, when Boeing explored the possibility of developing a higher capacity aircraft to meet airline demands. However, despite its potential, the project never progressed beyond internal discussions due to significant challenges. So, what are these obstacles? But before diving into that, let's first explore just how impressive the Dash 10 truly is. If launched, the Boeing 777-10 would target the 400 to 500 seat market, offering airlines the flexibility to optimize their cabin configurations according to their specific needs. This could mean increasing seat density to maximize revenue, or adopting a more premium layout to attract high-end passengers. Such flexibility is particularly crucial as the aviation industry continues its shift from four-engine aircraft to more efficient twin-engine models. However, this transition has posed challenges for many airlines, as next-generation aircraft often offer lower seating capacity compared to their larger predecessors like the A380 and 747. This large variant is expected to address this issue by providing a true replacement option, allowing airlines to maintain high passenger capacity while optimizing operating costs. In terms of naming conventions, this variant follows the trend seen in aircraft families like the 737 MAX, 787, A320neo, A330neo, and A350. With each extended version of a program, the number at the end of the aircraft's name increases to reflect the growth in size and capacity. For the 777-10, the seating difference compared to other 777X variants would be significant. The gap between the Dash 8 and Dash 10 could be close to 100 seats, though the exact figure would depend on how airlines configure their cabins. One of the least clear aspects of this aircraft is its range. If developed, this aircraft might have a shorter range than the Dash 9 to prioritize increased passenger capacity. According to Boeing's specifications, the Dash 9 can fly up to 7,600 nautical miles, which is approximately 14,075 kilometers, while the Dash 8 has a range of up to 8,745 nautical miles, which is about 16,190 kilometers. This suggests that the 7X family is well suited for most long haul operations, and even if the Dash 10 sacrifices some range, it would still be a compelling option for airlines seeking a high capacity, efficient wide body aircraft. So, would airlines still enamored with the A380 and passengers still obsessed with its sheer size embrace the Boeing 777 10 as the right successor? Wait a second, you're still here? That's awesome. We're on a mission to hit 50,000 subscribers and you can help us get there. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button and be part of this incredible journey. Your support means the world to us. Thank you. Firstly, the motivation behind the US manufacturer's potential development of this huge variant stems from the shifting dynamics of the commercial aviation market. Airlines are progressively moving away from large four-engine aircraft in favor of twin-engine jets which offer lower operating costs and superior fuel efficiency. Additionally, with the aviation industry placing greater emphasis on sustainability, twin-engine aircraft align better with long-term environmental strategies. This shift explains why airlines have been hesitant to commit to another four-engine giant, despite the undeniable appeal of the A380. 
Secondly, speaking of the A380, while it is experiencing a temporary resurgence, this revival is largely circumstantial. Many airlines have had no choice but to reactivate their super jumbo jet fleets due to delays in the delivery of next generation wide body aircraft. This means the aircraft's return is more of a short term necessity rather than a sign of renewed long term demand. Outside of Emirates, no airline has explicitly called for Airbus to restart A380 production, casting doubt on the viability of an extended future for the aircraft. Therefore, if launched, the 777-10 could address the market's need for high-capacity aircraft by offering a balance between range and seating capacity. By stretching the Dash 9 into an even larger model, the U.S. aircraft maker believes it could attract airlines still requiring high-density aircraft for key long-haul routes. This variant would also eliminate the inefficiencies that made the A380 commercially unappealing, making it a more practical option for modern airlines. Another crucial factor in its potential success is Emirates. The airline has been the most passionate advocate for the A380, operating the world's largest fleet of the Super Jumbo. For years, Emirates has sought a successor capable of accommodating similar passenger volumes. The airline even went as far as providing Airbus with suggestions for an A380neo, hoping to extend the aircraft's production. However, Airbus has remained firm in its decision to discontinue the program, making it clear that Emirates alone is not enough to promote a revival. If Boeing were to introduce the Dash 10 and successfully win over Tim Clark, it could very well become the airline's next obsession, replacing the A380 as Emirates flagship aircraft. Beyond Emirates, there is still demand from other airlines for large aircraft, especially efficient twin-engine models that meet the high standards of modern aviation. The industry has changed significantly since the Super Jumbo Jet's heyday, and airlines now prioritize efficiency and flexibility over sheer size. Could this aircraft step in as the ideal solution? What do you think? If Boeing moves forward with this variant of 777, could it truly replace the A380? Comment 1 if you agree or share your thoughts below. However, building a new aircraft isn't an easy work. So what exactly is holding it back? First, as mentioned earlier, the biggest obstacle to the launch of the Dash 10 is the persistent challenges facing the 7X program as a whole. Initially, the US aircraft manufacturer planned to introduce the Dash 9 in 2020, but the project has faced repeated delays due to certification hurdles, stricter regulatory oversight, and various technical challenges. These setbacks have significantly impacted the entire development timeline for the 777X family. While Boeing currently aims to deliver the first Dash 9 aircraft in 2026, even this timeline is uncertain. Emirates, one of the largest customers of this aircraft, has publicly expressed skepticism and is preparing for potential further delays, suggesting that the first deliveries might not happen until the second quarter 2027, or possibly even 2028. Given that the Dash 9 is already struggling with delays, the manufacturer is unlikely to divert resources toward developing a new variant like the large variant anytime soon. Second, beyond the 777X program, Boeing is grappling with widespread internal issues and increased regulatory scrutiny. The company is still addressing quality control concerns across multiple aircraft programs, including the MAX, 787 Dreamliner, and the 7X itself. These challenges have made it difficult for the U.S. aircraft producer to keep its production and certification schedules on track. Meanwhile, the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration has tightened its oversight of Boeing following multiple safety incidents in recent years. The certification process for new aircraft models is becoming increasingly time-consuming, further delaying production and deliveries. With its focus on resolving existing problems, the company simply cannot afford to shift attention to a new variant at this stage. Third, launching an entirely new variant like the 777-10 not only requires significant engineering resources, but also demands a massive financial investment. With Boeing still struggling to bring the Dash 9 into service and dealing with production bottlenecks across multiple aircraft programs, adding another project would only worsen the backlog and further prolong delivery timelines. Given these challenges, it is clear that this U.S. manufacturer has little justification for launching the Dash 10 at this moment. Before considering a new variant, the company must first resolve its existing issues, successfully introduce the recent variants into service, and rebuild market confidence. 
However, even considering this variant into service, it still have to face the significant challenges. It leads to the next challenges. One of the biggest questions surrounding the potential launch of this variant is whether there is enough demand to justify its development. While Emirates has expressed strong interest in a high-capacity aircraft to replace the A380-800, most airlines find the Dash 9's seating capacity sufficient. The long-haul market is shifting away from ultra-large jets towards smaller, more efficient aircraft that enable point-to-point -point operations rather than relying on massive hub and spoke networks. This trend has made aircraft like the Airbus A350-1000 and Boeing-9 more attractive to airlines. Although demand for large aircraft still exists, Boeing would need to conduct thorough market research and secure solid commitments from airlines before moving forward. Without guaranteed orders, launching a super jumbo jet would be an enormous financial risk. Next is the challenge of size and airport compatibility. Larger aircraft can carry more passengers, but filling those seats consistently on key routes remains a challenge, especially as airlines prioritize flexibility and higher flight frequencies. However, Emirates has repeatedly stated that slot constraints at major airports make high-capacity jets essential for maximizing efficiency. This raises the question, should Boeing develop an aircraft to compete in this niche? If demand is strong enough, a viable alternative to the super jumbo jet could offer significant advantages. Yet, size comes with limitations. Operating costs for a massive aircraft like the Dash 10 wouldn't just be about fuel consumption. Airlines would also face higher maintenance expenses, airport fees, and crew requirements. Additionally, not all airports are equipped to handle such large jets, restricting route flexibility. Beyond cost and operational challenges, market preferences are evolving. Airlines increasingly favor smaller, more efficient aircraft that offer greater route flexibility and lower operating costs. The ability to serve more destinations without relying on ultra-large aircraft gives airlines a competitive edge in today's market. For Boeing, this presents a major dilemma. Would the Dash 10 be a strategic move, or would it struggle in a market that is gradually turning away from massive jets? Unless there is undeniable demand, committing to such a project could be a high-risk gamble. What do you think? Let us know your opinion. Thanks for watching and safe flights always.